Okay, so most of you guys already know the major chord, which has the one, three, and the five. In this case, C is our one, so this is a C major chord. Then you have the minor, which is the one, minor, three, and the five, okay? Um, so C minor. Then you have the one, the three, and the sharp five. That's called C augmented. Um, then you have the C diminished, which is the one, the minor three, and the flat five, okay? Then you have the, um, the C sus four, which is the one, four, and the five. Then you have the C sus two, which is the one, two, and the five, okay? Then you have just what's called the C flat five, or the, the major flat five, which is just the one, the three, and the flat five, all right? And that makes up all of your triads. That's major, minor, diminished, uh, sharp five, flat five, sus four, sus two, okay? Um, then you're gonna have your add chords, which is the C add six, that's the C major add six, because you're adding six just in the scale, then you got C major add nine, and you're adding the nine, because C out here is nine, but you just add it right here, the nine, okay? Then you have what's called the C major seven. That's now these we we went through the triad, which are the three note chords. We just went through the add chords. There's a there's also a C minor add six and a C minor add nine. So those are your four add chords: the add six, the add nine, the minor add six, the minor add nine. Okay. Then you have your sevens, um, which is there's the major seven, which uses the seven that's in the scale. There's a the major seven flat five, the major seven sharp five. Okay. Then you have your C7, which uses a flat seven. Because if you don't say major, then you have to use the flat seven. So that's the C7, C7 flat five, C7 sharp five. Okay. Then you also have the C7 sus. Now that uses the one, four, five, and the flat seven. Okay. The C7 sus, whenever a number is not mentioned, then the sus is going to be the four. You know, if I don't say sus two, if I say sus two, then you would use a two. But if I just say sus, or sus four, you know to use the four. Okay, so that's the C7 sus. Uh, I believe the sus stands for suspended. Okay, then you have the C minor seven. Okay, then you have the C, which has the one minor three, five, and the flat seven. Then you have the C minor major seven. Okay, which is the one minor three, five, and the seven that's in the scale. Okay, then you have the um, the minor seven flat five, which is known as the half diminished because it has a diminished triad, but the seven isn't diminished because a, a diminished seven has to be double flatted, okay? So that's the that's called the half diminished or the C minor seven flat five, okay? Then you have the C diminished seven. Now a diminished seven, that's the seven in the scale. A diminished seven is double flatted, okay? so. That's the C diminished seven. It has a one, minor three, flat five, and a double flatted seven, which is equivalent to like saying the six, but in theory it's the double flatted seven. Then your last seventh chord is the uh, C diminished major seven. And then again, you know, you'll always hear that name major when they want you to use a major seven as far as seventh chords are concerned, okay? And between the triads and the seventh chords, all the other um, extended chords, you know, ninth chords or 11th chords or 13th chords, um, they all are formulated by a combination of just those triads or even the triads in the seventh chords. So we're actually going to go into each chord in detail in each key at some point. Um, but we'll also learn the triads again together. We'll learn the add chords and how to use those. And then we'll also learn the seventh chords and how to use those. And then we'll go and venture out into even the extended chords. Um, so, and we're gonna try to do these in each key. And of course, this can take a long time. Most of the stuff you're gonna have to, to learn it the quickest, you're gonna have to learn it in C and take it to the other keys on your own. But eventually though, I'm still gonna just try to touch on them in um, various keys or what have you, okay? So here you go, major, minor, I think I did this already, major, minor, diminished, sharp five, uh, flat five, sus four, sus two, um, add six, add nine, minor add six, minor add nine, major seven, flat five, sharp five, seven, flat five, sharp five, minor 
seven, oh, seven sus. Minor seven, uh, minor major seven, minor seven flat five, um, diminished seven, diminished major seven. That makes up all of your triads, add chords, and your seventh chords, okay? And pretty much from those alone, that's about 23 chords I just did. From those alone, you can cover all of the extended chords because it's a combination of those same chords, okay? And when we deal with each chord individually, we're gonna deal with different ways to voice those chords, you know what I mean? Like um, the drop two, and you know, well, what I should have been lower. Let's see, yeah, like, you know, just various different ways to use them um, so that you can have that cathedral sound, church sound, jazz sound, whatever you're looking for. All right, see ya.